Good morning, welcome home to Mailer's Landing. It is tomorrow, um, because guess who forgot to shoot an intro for that video yesterday? <laughs> anyway, I still have the monster zucchini from yesterday from the peanut patch, and I realized I never weighed it for you all, and it's, it's heavy, it's the size of my head, y'all. So let's find out how big this is. Um, or how heavy it is. After that, I'll show you yesterday where we got it out of the garden and turned it into something delicious, kosher, and gluten-free. No, really, delicious. Y'all, that is a six pound zucchini. I'm not even joking. So there you have it, six pounds of zucchini. <laughs> so come on along and I'll show you what you can do with an outsized zucchini like this. I know I keep harping on this peanut bucket, but it is just blowing my mind. So we have a little bit of unresolved nonsense with this peanut bucket. They're definitely 100% squash on there. They are maybe zucchini. And one of them is huge. <laughs> um, I'll show you this, but it it is time to bring that in and find out what exactly it is. So what's your guess? What do you think this is? Heavy. We'll have to find out how much that weighs. I mean, its shape is zucchini shape. Like, look at the ridges and the way that it's marked. We'll find out. Oh, I see that tomato. She's a blood. Let's bring her in to ripen up inside. Hello, fancy tomato. I think this is one of the Hungarian heart tomatoes. Welp, it is time to bring in some of these onions. You can see we've got a few casualties that are down to the ground. A whole bunch of my onions fell over last week and I brought them in and they were still pretty tiny but that's okay, we're gonna pickle those. Yep, so just a little guy, just a little guy. Uh, we've got a few of those. That one's a little bigger. It's more the size of like a ping pong ball. There are just a handful of onions left in the patch. Pretty much everything at this point except just that little handful has fallen over and dried up close to the bulb, so I brought them in. They are pretty small. I am thinking about pickling up some English pub style onions with them. Um, and in the meantime, I took them out, I hung them to, to dry in the sun for a little while, a few days, and almost all of them cured beautifully. So we're not gonna have any problem on on waiting for enough of these to pickle. We've already got enough. And here's what's left. You can see there's like maybe 10 of them left in the patch that are still standing up. So we're just gonna wait on those and see if they get any bigger. This is the big boy. It's as big as my head. So, I'm also afraid to open it. Listen. 
It might be a zucchini. It might not. It might be, as Shira Ehrlichman once said, a duck, a platypus, but this, this is something else. Don't know. We'll have to open it up and find out. There is a smaller version. We're gonna open this one first and see what's going on. Come on, let's find out. It's an earthquake squash. I'm gonna cut open this one and we'll find out what it is. Maybe. So it looks like zucchini, just zucchini. So I think what I'm going to do is because they're such nice big slices, I'm going to coat these in an egg wash and then roll them around in some Parmesan cheese and fry that business. The first thing I'm going to do while I get everything else done is to rest the zucchini with just a little bit of salt on it. Um, and I'm going to let that be for the 10, 15 minutes that it takes me to just get everything assembled. My zucchini is resting over there with some salt on it. So I've got about a cup of parm because my zucchini slices there are substantial. And to that, I'm going to add some grinds of fresh pepper. I would say that's probably quarter teaspoon. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. I'm just shaking it on. There's probably, probably half a teaspoon in there. And then just a nice big fat pinch of salt. And I'm just gonna mix them together with a fork. Just combine them real well. crack an egg. We'll start with one egg. If we need another one, we'll get another one. I'm going to use the extra large egg from this weekend from our girls. It's a double yolk. The yolks got pierced when I cracked the egg, so it looks like there are three or four, but really there are two. Of course, you don't have to use a double yolk egg. Just use a large egg. Um, or a couple of tiny eggs if they came out of your backyard. I'm not adding anything to this egg. I'm just whisking it up. Honestly, this is like the simplest thing in my repertoire. I love making this. It's so easy. So that's all that's really to it. We are going to dip the slices into the egg and then dredge it in the parm. And then we're going to fry it on the stovetop. I've got my pan filled about, I would say, right around a half inch with oil. You can use any neutral oil on this. Canola would be great. I do like olive oil on this, even though you can taste the olive oil a little bit. I feel like it adds something to the zucchini, so I'm using olive oil today. See those bubbles? Those bubbles mean we're ready. So I am going to slide these breaded zucchini pieces right into the oil and we're just going to leave them alone until they get golden brown.
to this is to let it get golden brown. I'm doing these in batches, that way I don't overcrowd the pan. Um, and when they get golden brown on the underside, so that should take three, four minutes, I'll flip them over and do them another minute or two on the other side, and then we'll do the next batch. The real trick to this is to just leave it alone. Um, you'll think at first that it's sticking to the bottom. It's just not finished cooking. It will release when it's done. So you can give them a little jiggle and see if there's any space for movement. Um, if you don't leave it until it sets, it's just gonna tear the breading off of your zucchini. So let it be, let it be, let it be. When you go to give it a nudge and it slides like super easy, that means it's all set and it's ready to be flipped. So here's how you know they're not cooked. When you go to move them, you meet some resistance. That is not ready. That one's almost ready. That one's not ready at all. When you don't feel that resistance, when it slides right on its own, that's when it's ready to flip. After they're out of the oil, I'm just placing them on some paper towels here so that they can drain. I blotted them on the other side with a paper towel as well. So here we are. Let's taste test this thing. Okay, let's find out. Well, it's really good. Mm. Mm. I think the size helped it. Kept it firm. Kept it firm and juicy. Mm. It's totally juicy. Totally nice. There's a sweetness. There is. There's a sweetness to it. It's delicious. I'm gonna eat some more. <laughs> mm. It's just the perfect summer side. It's not pasta for one thing. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love a pasta salad, but by this part of the summer, I have eaten a lot of pasta salad. So it's definitely got that in its favor. Also, it's covered in Parmesan cheese, which is wonderful. It's juicy, it's a little bit chewy from that cheese being nice and toasted. Um, this is a great accompaniment. Thanks for hanging out with us on our Garden to Table adventure today, and we will catch you up soon. Take care. And scene. <laughs>